I wouldn't worry about the kiss. I think you had a physical reaction. Doesn't mean you're going to trash your non-marriage to Spinelli. Oh, God, does it? I'm feeling lonely and neglected right now, which is dangerous territory for me. And what if I start liking Matt because I have nothing else to do? Okay, okay, just stop, stop. Abandon any further plans with Matt. Focus on Spinelli, love and support him. Stop manufacturing these situations to inspire jealousy, okay? It's ridiculous. That's my best advice. Now, I really do have some work to do. I have an appointment today with the coordinator of the World AIDS Crisis Center. That sounds impressive. I had sort of a, uh, I don't know, a wake up call, a renewed commitment. You know, I survived what should have been a death sentence, and it's my responsibility to advocate for other HIV AIDS patients. It's amazing, Robin. I'm really proud of you. And I'm sure Patrick is too. Yeah, not so much. Patrick is busy sulking. But you know what? I can't stop doing important work because my husband would rather play darts and eat Thai food. Okay, speaking as a fellow neglected partner, don't you think you should try and figure out if all this work is more important than your marriage? Ugh. Oh, well. Lock is too big for this to work. You're wasting your energy. There's no way out. Believe me, I tried. There's always a way out. It's a lot better to search for it than just sit around and wait for Helena to make her next move. Really? And here I thought you enjoyed the anticipation. I thought it was how you and Helena defined each other. Will you let that go for God's sake? Damn it. That psychotic woman gave you a bunch of crap and you lapped it up like a dry martini. And whose fault is this latest debacle? Hmm. Oh, wait. I know. Yours! Because you wouldn't kill her when you have the opportunity! Are you going to keep bitching about that, or do you want to hear my plan for getting us out of here? I want to hear your plan! I'm thinking. I'm sorry I'm late. I had a breakfast meeting with Sonny. How was his royal mood? Better than usual lately. Any particular reason you're asking? Actually, yes. Christina has a new therapist. Wants the parents to start getting involved in the sessions, which means that they're going to talk about things like what Sonny and I did, what we didn't do, what we ignored that allowed our daughter to get into an abusive relationship. Sidebar. John Zakara has set off a firestorm in Sonny when he accused Sonny of being physically abusive to Claudia. So if there are going to be any accusations made in these therapy sessions, it might be best for Christina if you just left Sonny out of it altogether. I just had a conversation with John Zakara. Well, why, why is Johnny going out of his way to have a conversation with you? I called the meeting. Oh. I wanted to get Johnny's version of what happened when you and your men rousted him on the street. Well, let me guess what he told you. We chased him for 10 blocks, right? We cornered him into an alley, and then Max took out his, his uh, brass knuckles. Is that what happened? What does it matter what I say? I don't have anything else to go on. Okay. Johnny clammed up, basically told me he doesn't trust the justice system anymore. I mean, I really have to admire how single-minded the guy is. I don't, you know what? I don't want to hear about your admiration for Johnny Sakara because he's a lying bastard. You get it? And if, if, if this arrangement is going to work between us, you have to be honest with me. About what? Do you believe what Johnny said on the stand? Do you, do you think that I'm abusive, physically abusive, to women?